It has been now one year since Minnesota legalized recreational marijuana, and the landscape around the drug has changed dramatically since last August. Our Maury Glover joining us live from the state capitol tonight with a look at where we are now and where we're going. Maury? Well, the cannabis industry in Minnesota is still evolving, and that means some of the laws around it can be a little hazy. I've been a weed nerd for like as long as I can remember. I've been fascinated with cannabis and uh, glad that it's finally okay now. It was August 1st, 2023, when self-described weed nerds at First Avenue were celebrating the legalization of recreational marijuana. But experts say while Minnesota has come a long way when it comes to legal weed in the last year, it still has a ways to go. I think we're at a really exciting juncture now for the industry here in Minnesota. Since the state made smoking marijuana legal last August, only a handful of dispensaries have opened on tribal lands where the general public can buy it. The state is still working out the rules and licensing process for other dispensaries, which probably won't open until sometime next year. So there are currently still no state licensed adult use cannabis dispensaries. Those won't be opening up until probably closer to the end of 2025. Until then, Minnesotans who want marijuana can grow their own, with state law allowing up to eight plants per household, but only four can be mature and flowering at a time. Experts say a contradictory state law says you can only have two pounds of marijuana in your home. So amateur growers should be aware they could yield more than two pounds from four plants. But the law does allow for gifting under two ounces as long as it's not for remuneration. And so those green thumbs uh, can give away uh, their bounty to their friends. Also in the last year, THC beverages have become big business in Minnesota, bringing in nearly $200 million, according to one industry estimate. The THC in those drinks all comes from hemp, but more potent marijuana-infused beverages should arrive by the end of next year. The industry is going to continue evolving, especially over the next couple of years. Now, so far uh, in all, THC products have brought in at least $10 million in taxes to the state of Minnesota. So some of that is certainly paying off. Reporting live at the state capitol, Maury Glover, Fox 9. All right, Maury, thank you. Well